guys what is up and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel i hope you guys decide to stick around by hitting the subscribe button i trust you guys know where it is uh, before i get started on this video i do want to apologize for not uploading last week um i was going through a lot of personal stuff and if you guys have been on my channel for a while you know i like to keep my youtube and my private life private um but i will mention it's relationship wise I am now single and it was the best decision for myself personally and you know you sometimes just have to put yourself first. Um, before I get started on the channel, I did promise also a back to school giveaway winner for last week. I did contact her, but I wanted to personally put it on my YouTube channel. Her name is AV underscore three four six eight. So congratulations. Um, she is the winner for this year's back to school giveaway. I hope you guys enjoy this video by giving it a thumbs up and let's just get started on this video. So, so I was contemplating on how to do this video. Um, I didn't know if I should do it like freshman, sophomore, junior and senior or if I should do like relationships and bullying etc. So I decided to do like a little bit of mix of both um, throughout the years. Um, when I was doing the video and I asked what videos you guys wanted to see, a lot of people said advice videos. So I hope this helps to all of those people that asked for this. Um, freshman year. It is the scariest because you're going to a new school, but it is nothing like you see in movies. No one is going to try and get you. Yes, the seniors typically don't like the freshmen, but they're not going to go out of their way to like scare you to death. Um... Personally, the seniors, like freshmen for me, just annoyed me because they were so immature and so young. And I always thought to myself, God, I hope I never was like that. Um, but honestly, my best advice to freshmen, make friends fresh, your freshman or sophomore year. That way they'll be with you pretty much through your entire high school. If you try to make friends with juniors and seniors, they're going to graduate either in one or two years. Sophomore um, year is the year that is the most drama because everyone freshman year I feel like puts on this front of being like this really good kind perfect person and then sophomore year it kind of the true colors tend to show so sophomore year is the year that most friendships fall it is the year that most people get into relationships and they fall it is definitely the year of the most drama after this it gets better but just expect a lot of drama sophomore year um, sophomore year, I never got bullied in high school, so I can't really explain bullying in a high school standpoint. I got bullied in my elementary, early elementary and my middle school years. Um, but I feel like sophomore and junior year is the year that bullying would start. I know some people that did get bullied and they said that's the year they started. So just keep that in mind, you know, try to like have that close-knit group of friends that you can trust and that will be there for you. And I think everything will be okay. Junior year is the year that people start driving. Um, it is the year that you take the most classes and the most stressful classes. It is also the year that most people will get a job because they are 16, at least in my case. Um, but it is also the year of the most fun. I never had that much fun in a single school year as I did my junior year. It was proms it was graduation slumber parties it was movies it was haunted houses it was dinners and lunches with friends i met a lot of friends through my work it was it was honestly so much fun um that was the year that i had a lot of fun i met a lot of my best friends that i'm still with to to this day we still hang out constantly um through our hectic college schedules um Walk, try to find a place that you like. Um, School-wise, it's going to be stressful. I'm telling you this now. I took my hardest classes my junior year, but you will get through it. It's only one year, and then it's senior year. Senior year is also probably one of the most awesomest, which is not a word, year though. Um, you will now drive. I got my car senior year so I can now officially go places. I didn't have to rely on my parents to take me places. I also had a job so I had some money to spend like movies, the mall, going to haunted houses. That was our thing that we always did because we loved it. Um, Christmas parties. I love senior year. It was also the year that a lot of people left school early and everyone was just chill. There was usually no drama. People were in relationships, mostly junior and senior years, what I also forgot to mention. But senior year is also the year that a lot of people did break up as well because you're going to different colleges, etc. Senior year is also the year 
either junior or senior year. I got it mostly both years those years where people come up to you and ask what do you want to be what college are you thinking about etc etc what do you want to do with your life and that is such a tough question to ask a 17 18 year old because you this thing that you choose will be with you for the rest of your life and I don't think people understand like how difficult of a question that is to answer for myself I didn't know what I wanted to do I know I didn't really want to go into the medical field because I hated the sight of blood and I wanted to go into a profession that when I came out of college, I knew I could potentially get a job almost right off the bat. I didn't want something too complicated like science-wise because I suck at science. I was really good at math, but it bored me to death. So I was honestly in a pickle because that pretty much covers the three major groups that you can get a job afterwards. Um, my I wanted to do journalism. My mom said that it really wasn't reliable and I would probably not find a job after college, which is true. But funny enough, I am now having a minor in it. Um, so it was hard. Um, college, I didn't know what college I wanted to go to. I knew my parents could afford much. I knew I was probably going to go to community college, so I didn't have the hassle of applications and deadlines and essays and all of Ugh, teachers recommendations honestly it was so stressful and I felt so bad for my friends at that time but you know I'm going through it now three years later um so honestly don't worry honestly the first two years of your college is usually general study classes anyway um I know that's what I did I just took two in my case three years of general studies classes my biggest 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 piece of advice I could ever ever get anybody is if you go to a community college most of the time do not listen to the advice because they don't really know what they're talking about that's what happened with me and I wish I could someone told me this is pick a few classes or classes pick a few colleges that you want to go to visit them explore them even though it's senior year and you're not going to apply to these it will help so much two or three years down the road visit them explore them talk to their advisors get a list of their general classes that they take for the first two years and which classes will transfer from your community college to their school most colleges all have the same general study classes you just have to make sure you're taking the right classes at your school that is cheaper so it will apply to those specific subgroups in their college and take the classes that those colleges need in your college as general study classes please for like I t this is my third year going to community college I'm done after this semester but if I knew what I knew now I would have saved myself a year of heartache and stress and spending money on things that I didn't need that I could have taken more of and know what colleges and visited them instead of now having to do it now um, that's my biggest advice for anybody. Um, honestly, high school, I don't want to say is the best four years of your life, but for me, it was really one of the most wonderful four years of my life. I made some of my best friends there. I grew so much as a person there. I learned so much. I gained so much life experience from high school. High school is going to be fun. Um, do not stress about it. If you are bullied in high school, it doesn't last forever. Once you get into college, it's pretty much done. Um, you're going to like it if you meet the right people and if you go to the right school, unfortunately. Sometimes you can't control some things like bullying and just all of that stuff. But if you can try to avoid the popular group, clickiness, the drama, relationship drama, you're going to have a lot more fun than a lot of other people that will get into it and absorb it all. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Um, to make up for the back to school videos, you know, lack of back to school videos, I should say, I'm going to try upload a lot this week because I know a lot of people don't go back until next week or the week afterwards. So on that note, I will see you guys very shortly and I love you guys a lot. Love you guys. Bye. I've been shaking, I love it when you go crazy You take all my inhibitions Baby, there's nothing holding me back You take me places that